Lisa Eldridge just launched her new lipsticks and I wasn't going to buy any but once I saw her swatch video Oh my gosh, some of the colors are so beautiful. You can see my hands all red. We are going to do it together. So I have six items from this purchase. Two are from her new launch. I picked up two from the previous launch, which I missed out and I, I'm really excited to uh, get those as well. And I also picked up two lip pencils. I don't use lip pencils very often, but I can see myself use this with some of my other colors as well. So without further ado, let's get started. In her new launch, she came up with 12 new lipstick colors. I got two of them and I took two different um, finishes. So one is the luxurious loosened lip color which is a more glossy finish it feels like a balmy version of a lipstick which is very comfortable and then i also got the insanely saturated lip color i have a array of her true velvets already which i love fawn velvet fawn is my favorite so i got four of her lipsticks from the new launch i got the color meet me in berlin and i also got the strawberry shock which i'm so excited about then from her previous launch which i missed out in the first order and i didn't want to buy another order from that launch then to kind of pay the shipping again so i waited until now and that is the color velvet intrigue and a velvet dragon so we're gonna try those two later but i'm gonna try the new launch first so i don't have anything on my lips um it feels a little dry today so i'm gonna try with the first color which is meet me in berlin so it is such a pretty pretty color so let's try it on together i have a mirror in front of me so i'm gonna be looking down but i will zoom in This is my first lipstick from her Lucent Lip Color line. I did not get the other shades previously because I think two or three of them were a little bit more pink and the one that I wanted, which is the Kitten Mischief, was sold out. So now that I've tried it with this Meet Me in Berlin, I really love it. It's got this brownie tone that looks so, you know, grungy, sophisticated and it feels so comfortable you know what it kind of reminds me of a lipstick that i got from shantakai hang on it reminds me of this color from the elephant light it's called tamarind also this kind of brown so let me just swatch it together the color at the top is shantakai and the one at the bottom is lisa eldridge's new lipstick and as you can see shantakai has a little bit more red in the color whereas lisa eldridge's one is more true brown the shantakai version has a bit more burgundy in it so it's a bit more red this is really like just brown a nice light brown which makes the lips look it's really good so i love this i can see myself wear this kind of color a lot. I'm gonna leave the two brighter colors at the end which is Velvet Dragon and uh, Strawberry Shock because I think they're gonna leave a stain on my lips. So let's go to Velvet Intrigue. I didn't get this in the first launch. Firstly, it was sold out and then when it came back in stock when I got the Velvet Affair, I didn't get it because I wasn't sure if it would be too peachy for me. I noticed that if I wear a lip color that's a bit too peachy, it does, I don't know, it just makes me look a little weird. So let me just try this right now. I'm glad I finally decided to pick it up. It is a more wearable version than Fawn. So if you have Fawn and you find that fawn makes you look a little you know like dead a little too pale you would like velvet intrigue because it has a bit more pink to it like a peachy pink to it and it feels so comfortable on the lips even though it's matte it's a really comfortable matte of course you know if you have very dry lips i would encourage you to buff your lips first before you put it on but like for me i have very liney lips like my lips have a lot of line it doesn't bother me I just have to like kind of purse my lips together and they kind of you know mesh back oh my gosh it is super pretty so this is velvet intrigue i'm glad i got it i see myself wearing this very often especially with you know just a bit of eyeliner and it's kind of like my lips but more matte lisa actually recommended to use the velvet affair lip liner together with the velvet intrigue 
to maybe make it not so pale. I'm actually quite okay with it, but I'm going to try it out. So this is the Le um, Velvet Affair lip liner. I'm going to quickly put it on now and then put the Velvet Intrigue over and I'm going to see whether it makes a bit of difference. Yes, I can see the difference with the lip liner. It gives the color a bit more depth. So if you feel like you need just a hint more brown in it, like you love this color, but maybe just a tad, just a tad bit more. If you have the lip liner affair, it goes really, really well. Or I feel like you could even mix it with the Velvet Affair lipstick. So I may not have to buy, I mean, I didn't. maybe I didn't need to buy this. I could have used the Velvet Affair lipstick and just use a lip pencil and just kind of like put it underneath and then put this on top. I probably could have done that, but you know, Lisa recommended this and I think it's a really good match and I believe this is a very universal lip liner that can go with many, many other nude lipsticks. Going in with Velvet Dragon, I love this kind of terracotta, burnt, red, orange lipsticks. I have one from Hermes, which I think every time I wear this, a lot of you comment, they ask me where you get this lipstick. I, it's very similar to the 71 Matte Orange Brulee from Hermes, and this was limited edition. So I feel like the Hermes one is a little bit lighter. It's a bit more, um, kind of like more muted, whereas the Velvet Dragon is a lot more punchier. But I'm just wondering whether on the lips it would look pretty much the same. So I'm going to try this out right now. Yes. I know I'm going to love it. Immediately, it brightens up the complexion. You know, you get a like really rosy cheeks. In fact, I think you could just even dab a little bit and put that as a blush because it would be very complimentary. But this lip color... If you have the same kind of skin tone as me, like you're just like a little bit more, you know, Asian skin tone, this is so complimentary. It really is a punch, but not too much. It's not in your face, but it's just such a really, really wearable red. I'm really afraid of wearing red, red lipsticks, but I can see myself use this a lot. Like you go out for dinner or you're going out for like shopping and you're just having like a really nice day out. Not much makeup, just gonna, you know, put a little bit of eyeliner or maybe nothing. I don't even have eyeliner on today and I already feel put together. So wow, what a gorgeous color. Final color that I'm so excited about. I have seen so many videos already with ladies trying this out and every single person looks amazing with this color. And the color is Strawberry Shock. I have nothing like this in my collection. It's like strawberry, but milky and it's, a, it's got a little bit of red, it's got a little bit of orange, but it's got a pink, so it's like just this perfect strawberry color, like the perfect cartoon strawberry, milky version. It's beautiful, so let's give it a go. It looks a little bit like Hermes's Coral Foo 51, but Coral Foo is uh, it's a tad pinkier. This has more red to it, so again, it's not the same. So yeah, the Co Coral Foo is more pinky and more uh, fluorescent. This is more muted and just like a perfect juicy strawberry lips. I know exactly where I'm going to wear this lipstick to. I have like a dinner party next week. This is the color that I'm going to grab because it immediately brightens up the whole complexion. If there's any color in the entire line, the new lip color line that you are thinking about trying out, I say get this. It's so unique. It doesn't I don't know. It doesn't really make... Oh, actually, it makes my teeth look so white on camera. This is a little bit more fluorescent. So you could go for Velvet Dragon a bit more of the traditional burnt red orange, but definitely a punch. But if you want something that people will say, hey, I really like your lip color. Yeah, Strawberry Shock. Get it. Get it. 
I have not seen a single person that does not look good in it. Every single person just beautiful, beautiful color on their colors lips. That I got. So those are the lip colors that I got from the Lisa Eldridge's new launch. If you do get any or whether it's these colors or any other colors, let me know in the comment section down below and see how you're enjoying it. Maybe there's new recommendations for me as well. Otherwise, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. I would love to have you back on this channel. And everyone, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video.